Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. Alright, it's the last day of my four day weekend and I think I pretty much have figured out what we're going to do today. Um, the bedroom set, the guest bedroom set that I bought a couple weeks ago is scheduled to arrive today. Now I don't think this is going to be the fiasco that the riding lawnmower was with Lowe's where they lost my order and I had to go scream at them ten days later because these guys have been constantly communicating with me. I received uh, several text messages yesterday uh, saying that they were gonna, going to arrive today. And in fact, one of them gave me a window between 9 and 11. So they should be here any time. And, uh, and then we're going to get this uh, guest bedroom kind of set up. All right, so I just got a text message from them. They're 10 minutes away. So any minute now. All right, the delivery guys have come and gone. The bedroom set is here, it looks fantastic. I was actually really surprised. They were here literally right on the dot at 9 a.m. And uh, they had the thing set up and it's 25 minutes later and they're out of here. So let's go take a look at this. This looks really nice. Yep, here we are. This is the master bed right now. I love this backboard uh, with the uh, with the, the faux hinges here. They don't actually open and close, it's just more for look. But it kind of ties together to the uh, dresser I have. And that actually does have a sliding barn door. You can open this up and have the shelves in here. Or you can slide it over and have uh, actual drawers here. So, a lot of nice storage space in here. Even way down here on the bottom. A lot of space in there. And uh, yeah, this thing's pretty big, I'll admit. Uh, I wouldn't have wanted to go much larger than this. Because it would have been really hard to get behind these things for light switches and all that. I'm going to have to actually keep it pulled away from the wall a little bit so you can reach behind it. And it also came with this nice little uh, bedside table too, which is kind of cool. And I was noticing when they pulled it in here that there was this little gizmo on the back of it. And I looked at that and was like, oh, that's a USB charger. I didn't really need to buy that, uh, that one that I bought for this room. But whatever. You know, now you can charge your stuff there and uh, just lay your cell phone right here on the table and that's good to go. So I think the next thing I need to do now is take a trip over to Bed Bath & Beyond and uh, get some uh, sheets and pillows and blankets and a comforter for this. But this room is coming together really nice. I'm very, very happy with this. It looks really great in here. And uh, once we get the sheets and blankets and all that stuff on here, the next thing we can start doing is painting. And that may happen as early as next week. So let's go over to Bed Bath & Beyond. All right, so I got a whole shopping cart full of stuff here. Um, I've, I've decided this is kind of be the pattern I'm going to do for the comforter. Uh, just did kind of an ivory color for the sheets. Uh, nice little queen size electric blanket. I also decided to do uh, stuff for the guest bathroom. You may, may recall we repainted that recently and uh, I just kind of went with some of the stuff that I had. But I think that'll look nice with the colors in there and we're gonna and then we got some just kind of utilitarian because see I got two two towel racks in the uh, guest bathroom and one of them is going to be for the decorative sheets like these or the decorative towels like these and then the other one will just be the plain ones and these will be the ones you actually use when you're in there um, got a couple of pillows got a trash can that matches the uh, the towels that I have and a little soap dish here which is kind of cool but yeah, I think this is gonna look out look good. We'll let's take it home and see what we got. All right, so I am back from Bed Bath and Beyond. Uh, I got my comforter, which I think is gonna look really nice in here. Some kind of cool ivory colored uh, sheets. I didn't want to go with straight white. I wanted to kind of blend in with the with the tones in this room. A couple of new pillows and an electric blanket. So let's get this all installed and set up. Now they always say don't cut the tags off of pillows under penalty of law. Yeah, shows you what I think of that. All right, so we got everything put together. I think it turned out really well. I wasn't really sure how it was going to look when I got it, when I was looking at it in the store, because sometimes when you're trying to compare something in a photograph to something you're looking at in person, it can be a little bit of a challenge to figure out uh, whether it's all going to look good together because sometimes the lighting on the photograph isn't 
quite right and when you see it under the actual lighting in the real world it can look horribly different but I think this looks really nice I think the uh, comforter looks great with the uh, with the dark color and the uh, and the backboard and the bedside table and uh, and the dresser here I think they look really nice uh, uh, have no complaints whatsoever except maybe for the fact that this thing is still a little bit bigger than I would have expected I was hoping it would be a little bit narrower here but that's okay that just means I gotta pull it away from the wall a little bit so you can get at the light switches behind it but uh, also another issue I kinda ran into is um, I bought an electric blanket for the for the bed and since it's a queen size bed there's two controllers and each of the controllers uh, plugged into a separate outlet and since I already have one outlet controlling this USB plug back here I had to kind of fiddle around with a little bit I got a little bit of an extension cord and plug the uh, the controllers for the electric blanket into that and I think that'll be fine because they, they don't really pull a whole lot of power um, <clears throat> but I think this is going to be a very nice, uh, you know, accommodating bed for guests when they come and visit. And now that we basically have this done, we can uh, actually start, uh, you know, inviting guests over here. Uh, that was one of the criteria I had. Actually, when I was over at Bed Bath & Beyond, uh, you know, I, I had to admit, you know, I'm not the best person for picking out colors uh, on this kind of stuff. I kind of needed a woman's touch. Well, it turned out... One of the salespeople there was uh, more than willing to help and she picked out a lot of great stuff and kind of led me in the right direction and I think I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I think I'm going to kind of do the same thing that I did uh, in the guest bathroom uh, where I kind of solicited uh, my viewers suggestions for colors for this room. Um, what I, so we're going to do that again. Um, I kind of teased about that a little bit in the live stream last week and I've thought about it more and I think it's a good idea because obviously this pink isn't going to work in here. Uh, it needs to be something more of a neutral color. I'm thinking kind of a lighter color to offset the dark wood. Uh, but you know we have this and the floor and the bedspread and the bedspread is I think our, the comforter looks really nice with the wood so it's a nice dark color but there's kind of also a nice uh, tan color in the uh, in there too and it kind of varies from you know it depends depends it's got kind of a, a a flannel coating so you move the fibers one way it's one color and you move them another way it's another color but in reality it's kind of a, a light lighter brown a little lighter I think than the wood on here so what we're going to do is just like we did with a guest bathroom. I'm going to phase one of this is going to be, be um, where I solicit color suggestions from you. Basically, it's going to be the same rules as before. I have access to Sherwin Williams, to Glidden, to Bear Brand Paint, and uh, so if you can, uh, if you have a suggestion for a color for this room, something that's going to look good with. The furniture in here and the floor because those are the two things that are going to be staying you know the well, the ceiling again is going to be white uh the trim may be the same color as the ceiling or a secondary color and then there's going to also be the color that's right now pink and like i said the pink has got to go i think i also got to put some more lighting in here because really the only light in here is from the ceiling fan it doesn't throw a whole lot of light in here but anyway going off on a tangent here um, if you have suggestions for a paint color uh, get a copy of the paint chip from a local store like I said Bear, Glidden, Sherwin-Williams uh, those are the ones I generally have uh, have access to I think Vaspar is another one that I can get and so if you get if you have a suggestion and can find me a paint chip uh, and photograph that paint chip and email it to me at escapingthemouse at gmail.com, uh, what we'll do is the same thing we did last time where I'll pick out a couple colors that I think are, are finalists and then you guys will get to vote. So now's the chance. We're going to do this for probably a week or two. So uh, let's just say Halloween is the deadline. So uh, by the 31st... Um, Get your paint chips into me. Make sure I can read the numbers on the cards and email them to me at escapingthemouse at gmail.com and we will move forward with this in a week or two. So anyway, I think that's all that I have for this episode. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse.
Good night.